all right um welcome back everyone in this video we're gonna discuss the uh, liquid phase reversible reaction a reacts with b to give c okay um but in the earlier video we carried out the reaction in the cstr but now we're gonna see how our uh, things look when we carry out the reaction in a pfr so pause the video give it a read all right one two three i hope you guys have been good guys and girls and given it a read so let's uh oops let's start reading it together shall we whoops give me one second all right there we go the above reaction needs to be carried out in a flow reactor your job is to develop the equations to size a cstr and a pfr we've already done the cstr so good job give yourself a pat on the back very good and the focus of this uh, video is going to be the pfr based on conversion of species a okay species a that's uh, chapter one to five of fogler chapter one to five fogler fifth edition okay good all right and uh, yeah the specs equimolar feed isothermal operation liquid uh, liquid phase reaction let's go guys. let's go boys and girls all right uh, once again the assumptions steady state we're gonna size our continuous process at steady state otherwise we don't know how isothermal operation good no changes in temperature good isobaric operation okay um no pressure drop good that's gonna make life slightly easier all right let's start off with our design equation but um before we start off with our design equation let's just put our so give ourselves a nice aesthetic to look at look at this nice pfr all right that's a pipe stuff goes in better stuff comes out the reaction let's write the reaction a one mole of a reacts with one mole of b to give um one mole c and the, re the reaction is reversible c can go back uh c can decompose into a and b okay good so let's see um our volumetric flow rate we're gonna have an inlet volumetric flow rate and our exit volumetric flow rate is gonna be the same why is that we're uh, dealing with liquid so we're dealing with liquid so uh incompressible is one of the important assumptions that i'll just list out here okay just for the sake of completion that just implies that exit flow rate is going to be equal to the inlet flow rate no changes in density continuity good all right um we, we're going to have our inlet concentration of reactants C A naught and C B naught, and we're going to have our exit concentrations of a b and c yeah there is no product guys there's no product in the uh inlet feed okay we have a and b equimolar feed okay equimolar feed let me i like that with respect to reactants good no product in the feed good all right so uh, let's start off with the design equation our design equation states so the design equation we're going to be using for the pfr in terms of conversion this is the design equation the volume of the pfr is going to be evaluated by evaluating this definite integral that goes from zero to the desired conversion the inlet flow rate of a divided by the rate expression the rate law that expresses the disappearance of a integrated with respect to conversion of a all right good so all right uh, let's pause here for a second let's pause here for a second and since i've already sized my cstr since i've already sized my cstr i i can just cheat and i know um, i already have my inlet floor i have the expression for that and i have the expression for this i, I i've already done that so f a naught i'll just zoom through this is just the inlet flow rate times the inlet concentration it's equation two good and uh, the rate expression was just the rate expression was negative k times c a c b mm, hold up one second uh, i'll put the negative here first minus c c over the equilibrium constant and and we've done this before we've done this before so the uh, r a this is equation four and if we take care of the stoichiometry remember we've already taken care of the stoichiometry when we were sizing the cstr so please refer to the video please refer to the cstr video and this video i'm just gonna expedite the process okay and ca was ca naught one minus x cb was ca naught times theta of b let's uh, let's use a different color scheme let's uh, switch color scheme so you guys 
will have an easier time following okay and there is i have no ink to worry about all right this is all digital ca naught one minus x cb naught ca naught times theta of b you guys probably remember what theta is by now i hope you guys do and uh, what color are we going to use for this let's uh let's take a different shade shall we blue i think blue is blue is good blue is good good blues not to be confused with the uh, seasonal semester blues sorry all right c a naught theta of c plus x because uh and i believe i used the correct stoichiometric coefficients let's go up go up for a second oh yeah negative one negative one and plus one good good all right uh kc let's do let's not forget our forget our kc okay now i'm just developing the rate expression right now and um once i have my fa once i have my fa naught divided by ra evaluating the integral is not really a problem well i hope it's not a problem for many of us hopefully so ra um oh, okay so, wait a minute theta b theta b is one why is that why is that equimolar we have an equimolar feed we have an equimolar feed all right and theta c theta c why is that zero no product no product in feed okay please refer to the uh, problem statement no product in feed good and once we have that once you have that out of the way your rate expression becomes your final rate expression is going to look something like this so you have your rate constant you have ca naught uh hold up ca naught squared times one minus x squared minus c a naught x divided by kc okay and this right here let's zoom out a little is going to be the restatement is the restatement of equation three all right the rate law but i've also the difference between um the difference between this expression this expression and this expression is that i've accounted for the stoichiometry so the uh, the one at the bottom the one at the bottom has taken care of the stoichiometry everything is in terms of everything is in terms of conversion of a all right keep in mind x is the conversion of a x is the conversion of a okay good now with that said that's uh now we have an expression now we have an expression for f a naught over r a don't we guys and that's just equal to v naught c a naught keep in mind we already did this we already did this when we were sizing the uh, cstr when we were sizing the cstr we already did this so if i factor out c a naught i'll be left with i hope i uh, i really hope i don't make an algebraic mistake guys so please uh, let me know in the comments if i do minus um x divided by kc good c a naught drop out my f a naught divided by r a is going to be equal to v naught in let volumetric flow rate divided by the negative rate constant times all the uh, expression that comes out of the uh, that's the uh, simplified form of the simplified form of the rate expression stoichiometry taken care of all right pause the video for a second and uh, i want you to think about this term for a second all right um Pause the video for a second and we'll be back shortly. Give me. So this expression right here, this expression right here is the uh, key. This expression is going to make your life easier. All right. Um, I'll be back in the next video segment. All right. So yeah, stay tuned.